many PCs exist for some time now, but in the last two years they started taking place next to our dumb TVs making them smart and giving us the joy of having a very capable media player, game console and PC in our living room. It all started with Android, but now Windows 10 mini PCs exist too, giving you the ability to have your PC everywhere you want. The Vents My Light 10 from Gearbest continues the tradition and turns our regular full HD TV into a full-fledged Windows 10 mini PC. Its specs are powerful and it also has an active cooling system composed by an internal fan. Well, now that I get your attention, let's start to dive in the looks, specs and performance of this little beast. The package is black with the Ventsmile logo written on the front and the i10 on the back. Inside the box we find a quick start guide, the Ventsmile i10 itself, a velvet-like internal shell, the power adapter rated at 5V 3A and the gold-plated HDMI cable. The device is black and made from aluminium with an exceptional build quality. On the front, we see the 2 megapixel built in camera along with a power button and an operation LED. On the back, we have all the device's ports, which are 4 USB 2.0 ports, the Ethernet port, the HDMI output, the micro SD card slot, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and the DC input. Looking at the top, we see a beautiful circle with chamfered edges and the Ventsmile logo written on it, as well as some ventilation grills following the circle's shape. If we flip the device upside down, we find the rubber pads which help the i10 stay in place and some more ventilation grills. The Ventsmile i10 is running the full and activated version of Windows 10, which means that you will get updates forever. The only downside is that although we have a 64-bit CPU, the installed operating system is a 32-bit one. You can do everything you did on your regular desktop PC, like running multiple apps simultaneously, mesh with the system settings from the control panel, download apps from the Windows Store and more. You can even use it for more professional work, like editing documents, pictures and videos. Everything runs smoother and faster than the other Windows mini PCs I've tried so far and this is due to the internal fan which keep the temperatures at low levels and stop the CPU from throttling and degrading its performance. I would say that it's on par with the Minix Neo Z64W I've tried in the past. If we hit the start button, the start menu opens and from there we can launch the applications we've chosen to use the most as well as go to the settings, all apps, file explorer and boot menu. We can of course use screen savers just like on our desktop PC to protect our monitor and change themes and wallpapers. Browsing the internet is a breeze and watching YouTube videos up to 4K resolution is a very pleasant experience. The Vents My Light 10 is powered by an Intel Atom Z3735 CPU running at 1.83 GHz max, which is a fairly good CPU for basic use, but I would like to see the newer Atom X7 Z8700 or the even more powerful Intel Core M. At this price point though, this would be very difficult. Other specs include Intel HD graphics GPU, 2GB of DDR3 RAM, 32GB of internal storage, which is upgradable via a microSD card, Bluetooth 4, Broadcom, 6330 Wi-Fi module which supports dual band Wi-Fi 2.4G and 5G, A2211 ABGN, active cooling system with aluminium heatsink and a fan on top of it, 2 megapixel front facing camera. The quality of the camera might not be so good, but it's good enough to use for video calling using Skype and other similar apps. Although benchmarks don't always tell the truth about the real world performance, I did some tests to show you how the device compares with the rest. The first benchmark is GFX Bench and here are the results. And next I ran PC Benchmark and got these scores. The results were not so impressive but as I said before, this doesn't tell the truth about the real world performance of the device which is very good. I also run IDA64 which is a powerful tool if you want to view your device's information, test it with several benchmarks and even perform stress tests to see if your CPU throttles to protect your mini PC in case the temperatures rise to dangerous levels. So I run the benchmarks available and got these scores.
I also did a stress test and it seems that the built-in internal fan does a very good job as the temperatures were between 38 and 55 degrees Celsius. Kodi runs very good on this device and it can perfectly play back many video formats except from the H.265 ones which were unwatchable due to very low frame rate. All the videos run from an external 1TB 2.5 inches hard drive connected to one of the four USB 2.0 ports without the need for an external power supply. You can do basic gaming on the Vents My Light 10 by playing games you have either downloaded from the Windows Store, older PC games or even other platform games through emulators using an external gamepad or the keyboard and mouse. Don't expect to run newer games like The Witcher 3, Crisis 3, Far Cry or GTA 5 because you will be disappointed and it's normal because these games are designed to run on high-end desktop PCs that cost 10 times more than the Vents My Light 10. The Vents My Light 10 is a very good Windows 10 mini PC with absolutely no heat issues due to its internal fan. As a media player, it does an excellent job by playing up to 4K videos with no problems at all and using it as a desktop PC to surf the web, play low-end games and even edit documents, photos and videos is more than possible. Its 4 USB 2.0 ports make, make it very versatile and the built-in camera is a great plus for those who use Skype or other similar apps to make video calls. I totally recommend it and you can get it from Gearbest by following in the links in the video description. Pros Built in internal fan, low operating temperatures, activated Windows 10, great build quality, aluminium alloy body, 4 USB 2.0 ports, built in camera, great design, small dimensions, fast operation, dual band Wi Fi, good performance, quiet operation, and price. Cons It could have at least one USB 3.0 port, bad camera quality. This was my review guys, I hope you liked it, and as always, for more reviews, unboxing and tutorials, subscribe, share and follow me. Thanks and bye bye.